This is Ali Neander speaking to you from the candy store, as we all see, from Guitar Point Vintage Guitars in Maital, Germany, and yet another episode of our little beloved series, The Unsung Heroes of Vintage Guitars, the guitars you read about, the guitars you've seen on photographs, but you probably never played on them. This is a 1973 Les Paul signature, one of the latter mo models of the Les Paul series. It's a hollow body. Basically, it resembles an ES-335. It has a slightly different body shape, asymmetrical body shape, and it has a smaller sustain block. So the guitar is like in between a, a real hollow body and your typical semi-acoustic. Well, it has weird something pickups. Uh, I think they're also called high impedance or something studio pickups. Actually, they sound pretty cool. And they have switches that sort of, it's almost like a veritone switch. They lower the impedance of the pickup down here. You can figure that out. You can read it in all kinds of forums. Actually, the guitar is a really beautiful guitar. This particular uh, uh, piece is like mint. You know, it's, nobody has ever played on it. But it's a great, still, it's a great vintage guitar. It's a great feel. The neck is, it's not so, t so thick. It's a typical 70s neck, but it's comfortable. It's not too slim. And it uh, deserves, as we all know, wider recognition. Because it has a very nice bluesy sound. Decent jazz guitar, too. One of the really strong points of this guitar is also its rhythm, like funk rhythms and funk rhythms, because the pickup's a little more transparent, a little brighter uh, than your usual humbucker pickup. So you can probably play some really crazy funk stuff on this, too, you know. That's the Les Paul signature from 1973 from Guitar Point in Maital, Germany. Hi, bye bye.